हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द सी एस आर नेट दिसंबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री टूडे आई विल डिस्कस द कैलकुलस ऑफ वेरिएशन क्वेश्चन इन दिस लेक्चर माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर हरीश कर यू कैन सिंपली फॉलो माई यूट्यूब चैनल वेयर यू कैन फाइंड द पी वाई क्वेश्चन ऑन मिड ऑन द कम्प्लीट डिसंबर डिसम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री सच एज द इंटवेगल इक्वेशन and many more available on this now there are the two question that i received this is the memory based question that i received from this uh, some of the students like uh, you have to find this question and the this option the options are somebody said that it's a zero is a one is a two and infinitely many fine but how you can think about this uh, calculus of variation question so i always recommended you you can watch before that you can watch my these two py question series which is available at here calculus of variation which is fully a shortcut tricks i can use again these shortcut tricks to solve these two question in a very simple manner now what is that the first question is the extremal passing through this and the variation of this is this okay fine what is the given equation is you all knows f minus partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y dash is my zero now you can see this is my f there is no f y involved in that so that means it is a zero so what does it means the derivative of this with respect to x is zero it means this value is my constant so i call as a c so can you find this value is a y dash plus x square y dash square so can you find the partial derivative of this 1 plus 2x cube y dash is my constant fine now can you find the value of the y from here it's very easy i can say 2y dash is c minus 1 over x cube now i can integrate it what is the integration of this is a 2y what is that is a is a, what is the integration of the x raised to power minus 3 so plus 1 over minus 3 Plus one, so it's a negative of minus two. I can adjust the minus from upside. Plus another constant, say b. Fine. Now what is the given to you? It passes through the one comma two. What does it means? Y is my two, so it's a four. X is my one, so one minus c plus b. It also passes through the two comma eight. What does it means? It's a eight to the sixteen. 16 and 1 minus c is a 4 to the 8 plus b. Now I can subtract them. It's minus of 12. It will be cancelled out. 1 minus c over 2 common. So it is 1 minus 1 over 4. It is my 3 over 4. 1 minus c over 2 into 3 over 4. Fine. This is the this 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 is the solution you can obtain. Now you can see it's a it is my here then i can found the value of 1 minus c over 2 is minus 60 clear because i you can see i need a 1 minus c over 2 as well fine now you can get as this i can substitute this value here what is my b b is my 20 so what is my solution solution is 2y is minus 16 over x square minus 16 over x square Plus B is my. Now that's the final answer. Now you can check about whatever the options are there, whether these are the right options or not. You can check about this option. So look at the first option. Root three and three, six minus sixteen over two plus twenty. It's a eight. It's not satisfied. Look at the second option. Six six to the twelve, which is minus sixteen over two plus twenty. It's a eight, and you can satisfy it. Look at the third option. I can firstly move this portion below. Fine. What is the third option? Is you can see root twenty two over eight into two. That is a forty four, which is equal to root three. So it's a minus sixteen over three plus twenty. It is not satisfied. If it is a twenty two by three, fine. If it is twenty two by three, then you can see it's a sixty. 60 minus 16 over 3, so you can see it's a 44. Then it's a satisfied. If it's a root, it's a 3. Then it's satisfied. Look at the last option. It's a 
इंटू टू ओवर एट इज माई माइनस सिक्सटीन ओवर थ्री प्लस ट्वेंटी इट इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड बिकॉज लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज एट राइट हैंड साइड इज थ्री सो इफ आई से इट इज माई थ्री देन इज इट सेटिस्फाइड इट्स सिक्सटी सिक्सटी माइनस सिक्सटीन ओवर थ्री सो इट इज माई फोर्टी फोर बट इट सेड अ थर्टी एट इट इज नॉट सेटिस्फाइड सो इफ माई आंसर्स आर ट्वेंटी टू ओवर थ्री देन दिस इज द राइट आंसर बट इफ माई आंसर इज एट देन दिस इज द रॉन्ग आंसर सो नाउ दिस इज दिस इज द कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन यू कैन गेट योर आंसर वट एवर द ऑप्शन आर गिवन टू यू यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट इट यू कैन गेट योर राइट आंसर फ्रैक्शन ऑफ सेकेंड Okay, look at this one. Now you can see there is one more additional condition is given to you. What I told you in earlier, whenever what I told you in these two lectures, whenever there is a some condition on the integration side, you can write this equation as lambda times of here. Fine. So I can see this equation can be written as y dash square plus lambda one. Now I can apply this. Euler equation on this side, fine, which is zero. Now what is that? Del f. What is the partial derivative is here? What is the partial derivative is a two y dash. Again, I can differentiate this. Is a y double dash is zero, fine. So what is the meaning of that? Can I find two y double dash is my this? I can integrate it. Is a two y dash is lambda x plus a. Again, I can integrate it. 2y lambda x square by 2 plus a x plus b. Got it? Now you can see what is given to you. Y of zero is my one. What does it means? One. This is my two. This is my zero. This is zero. So b will be my two. Y of one is my six. What is that? It's a 12. This is my lambda over two plus a. B is my two. So what I can say is a lambda over two plus a is equal to ten. Another thing is integration of this, integration of this y. So firstly I can find the value of y. This is lambda x square over four plus a x over two plus b over two. Now the integration of this from the zero one it should be three. So what is the integration of this? It is my lambda over twelve. A x square by two, so it's a a by four, and this is my b over two is my three. B I have already obtained is a two, so this is my one. So then I can say this number is my two. Fine. I can multiply this by four because I can see is a, so it's a lambda over three plus a is equal to eight. Now you can subtract them. What will happen? Lambda over two. Minus lambda over three is my two, so you can see it's a six. Lambda is my twelve. Once I see lambda is twelve, you can see from here a is my four. Once you get a, I can substitute here. You will get the y as uh, six and divided by two also. So it's a three x square plus a. A is my four. I can divide by two. It's a two x. B over two is my here. so you can see what is the cardinality of this there is no unknown parameter involved does it involve any unknown parameter no so what is the cardinality of this i think this cardinality is my single unique answer of this so infinite many solution cancel here is cancel so the cardinality is only one is my right answer of this problem so this is the way you can solve it you can see again i recommended you you can watch my this shortcut tricks lecture for you you can solve these questions in a very very simple manner uh, apart from that you can simply scan and join my whatsapp group if you want to join with me there is no fees there is no any kind of the fees for this we can discuss many more question in this lecture i hope you can like share and comment on my video you can share this video with your friends best of luck students happy learning